Hello everyone, I'm Chronicle Gamer and I'm a big idiot. Okay, so you're probably confused. Why am I a big idiot? Because I finished to record chapter 2, but uh, I did a mistake. So the way I usually do videos is that I do one video at a time and then delete it to make space for the next one. The problem is that I divided chapter 2 into episodes, just like I did with chapter 1. The problem is since I saw that I completed chapter 2, the second part, I deleted the first part because I drug that I already upload the first part. The problem is that I didn't, so now this is a new save file that I made, so I can play chapter 2, the first part, again, so I can have something to upload the video. So yeah, yeah. So here's Terry, blah 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 blah. He tells me that I have to go to Sledreski to the HQ. Here you learn how to do uh, quick travel. Okay, we, uh, we can finally begin chapter 2. Hello? Is that what I think it is? Ah, the Shadow of War, which is my old name. I've been expecting you. Go to the room to your right, we have much to discuss. Did you find it? Did you find the Ice Dagger? And here's Sledeski, which is not in the best shape. So here I learn how to focus, and here I learn how to use the ice dagger. See, pretty simple. Wow, you actually found it. And mastering sword energy already too? Incredible! One piece closer to finding him, huh? Actually, could I ask you a favor from you? I don't think I'll be able to collect the another swords myself, uh, not in this state at least. Uh, but you, you've done so much for the people of Rodetown already. You brought smiles to their faces, hope to their eyes. Uh, you, have, you have quite the positive impact, I truly believe that. As such, I'm going to entrust you to hold on to it. The ice dagger must be used responsibly, but uh, I know you can protect it better than I can. Usually I want to push someone to utilize this power, but with no sign of him in sight, I don't think we have much of a choice. In the town of Turritopolis, which I stuttered like 10 times trying to read this, it's Turritopolis, I know, I know, near the rugged rainforest. The mayor protects the Venom Sank for us. Him and I used to meet regularly, but he's been busy. I hope he's doing okay. Do you mind visiting him? Do you mind visiting him for me? Find the Venom Sank. See how Mayor Taniel is doing up. Make your way to the airport in West Beatsville. There should be there you should be able to get a flight to Plainstone. I wish the best for you, stay safe and good luck. Okay. Oh, here there was this scene in the original video which was really cool because I didn't knew that. But if you try and talk to this dude, if you want to listen to his real quick interest, he just goes full machine gun mode and just keeps talking. And this was really fun because the first time I didn't expect this. Sadly, I deleted the first time because I'm stupid. So yeah, this basically happens if you talk to this dude and he just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Even making a Roblox game is a form of art. Phew, that was a lot to get off my chest. Thank you for listening to my rambling. I really needed that. I'll be here if you want to listen some more. Oh my god. So what can I get from here? I think I got happy SP, but suddenly I can't afford it. So I guess speed spin is alright. At least I will lose less time going around from place to place. I also need to refill my items after I, I fight the king. Hey, 
I know there is Terry which tells you that uh, Sedleski told us to steal his plane. He tells us that he used to fly planes and blah 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 blah. He also has a brother nam named Jerry. I bet they're gonna have like a family, Terry, Larry, Jerry. It's gonna be really a comic. So yeah, we arrive over here, we decide not to pay Terry and run away. Over here we, we meet uh, this another adventurer. The wilderness is calling to me. I'm on my way to another adventure. You look interested, will you? You look like you're up for adventure. Care to join? Sure. Heh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm on my way to Turito Police. Uh, I heard it's close by. I also heard it's beautiful this time of the year. Have you heard much about Turito Police? Uh, in the first playthrough, I had no, because I didn't. But I want to see what she says if I tell yes, because uh, I did uh, in my main save file. Oh, that's awesome, dude. We shall meet up after I do some exploring here. I love to hear the stories you have to tell. Good luck out there. So now we go over here and look, uh, a Frank Mites is uh, incredible. One, two, and attack. They do the like a double spin. And there we go. One, two, and control back. There we go. Okay, another fight. Let's take care of the noob first because it's more annoying with the ability to make you dizzy. The eagle, it's not as annoying now that I have the shield. And there we go. Now let's take care of the eagle. There we go. And you are dead. Okay. I got an item which uh, if heals poison. This is actually pretty good uh, because in this chapter almost every enemy will have poison. So that's not bad. Wait. I want to get the papaya without having to fight him. I mean, it's not really a problem, but that guy is kind of annoying. Thankfully, it's also kind of slow. Okay, and now here comes the, the best and worst part. There are the fire ants, which are some of the best characters. And you can shrink into their base. But you have to stay shrink. And this usually wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't that here we'll meet, we will meet mosquitoes that are so annoying. Oh hi, welcome to, the, to our humble anthill. Just know that we have some guests over, they're not too keen of humans and might try and bite you. We apologize, there's not much we can do about it. Yeah, over here we will meet the mosquitoes. The worst enemy in the entire game because they are so annoying. Not only they attack extremely quickly and give you poison, but they heal if they do damage to you, even if you block. If they do damage, they heal. It's so fucking annoying. Thankfully, with defense, they can't damage me if I block, which is so good. Mosquitoes are like my least, my least uh, like the enemy. Like uh, if they were removed, I really wouldn't mind. Here there are also some fun interactions. 
a person. What? Huh. Are you some kind of dinky tiny guy by choice? Or were you born that way? I was born small, that's really rude of you. Why would you put that out? I mean, come on, dude, isn't that just mean? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me. Gone, bro. And then there is this guy, which is probably my favorite pirate. Darker fire ant. Ever since I was a larva, I look like this. My siblings used to make fun of me. But you know what? I won three medals in the last week and a ton. It doesn't matter who you are. It's who you can prove yourself to be. Go get him, tiger. This guy, this guy, it's, uh, it's the best character in the game. At least one of the best. I like him. Over here there is a fountain so we can pass. So we have to go here. And here there is like probably the worst fight ever because there are four mosquitoes. Thankfully you can totally evade the fight but just jumping up here. Sometimes uh, the games go too hard dude. Hey dude, how do you like it so far in here? Except for some mosquitoes, it's pretty cool actually. Place it's pretty good looking. Cleaned it yesterday myself. Took a long time, but it's worth it. Hope you enjoy. I did, I did. And over here we find uh, some ants watching the TV. Over here I got an achievement, which sadly I can't get a second time. But if you talk to this uh, ant, which is a grandpa, he tells you how the TV is doing too much noise, so you can go back here. Tell them, can you turn down the volume? And there we go. And if you go again and talk to this dude, you will get the achievement. Over here, I want to try and evade this fight because it's really annoying. No! I was so close because there is this fucking porcupine which uh, does a double attack actually. In chapter 2, basically every enemy has a double attack. I saw some people complain about it because uh, first it was only the living statue which could do a double attack. And now basically everyone can. But thanks god we took care of it. I can just use the ball. Yeah, uh, if you are in, if you have a problem in the fire hill, I suggest you use defense. It makes dealing with mosquitoes just a little easier. Because uh, if you don't have defense uh, and they attack you, even if you manage to block it, uh, they will still do one damage and heal, which is super annoying. But with the defense, you don't have to worry about it. Orange! Oh, I got an orange, that's cool. Talking rock, who could that be? Definitely not another hunt. Hmm. Good evening, young chap. Or is it morning? This old boulder not the surface nowadays. I've been stuck staring at that wall for eons. Originally, it was quite swell, but now it's a bit broad. I wish I could look up into the sky like I used to. There's, so there's some beautiful crystals on the ceiling here. I like to think I was a crystallographer in a previous life. There are such gorgeous little things, aren't they? I wish I could lay on my back and stare them again. Huh? You think you can help? How lowly! Quickly, push me over! You use dynamite here... And there we go. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, little one! Hmm... Actually, hold on. I think I can control this water flow underneath me. You lent me a hand, so let me lend you a pebble to yours. Hop on, kiddo. Going up. And there we go. This looks like your stuff. Are those crystal gorgeous? Thank you for all your help, kiddo. Have a wonderful adventure. You're, you're near the exit, thanks for visiting. And for a bidding to the shrink rule. Yeah, there are some mosquitoes, but they don't actually attack you, they just talk. Yeah, whatever. And we got a cookie. Okay, we finally managed to exit. Oh my god, I'm 
one's closet. Over here there is some tea. And over here there is a box. Okay, nice. Okay, pepper. Okay, there is a gorilla here. The gorilla are also one of my least liked enemies. Uh, they have two attacks. One, it's pound, which is pretty balanced. The another one, it's pants, which is extremely quick uh, and can get and can catch you off guard. Uh, and I don't really like it because it does a lot of damage. Thanks God, it doesn't do poison. Other otherwise, it would be really unfair. Okay. And I fell down, nice. Okay. And then there is this monkey that tells you that there is a... Uh, uh, by the way, you should check out the, fa the waterfall in Rotterdam. There is quite a neat place behind it. Yeah, this is uh, a hint uh, to find the snowball. It's pretty cool. And here we are to to read police. Oh, I remember you. You are that guy. I heard that there is an adventure. And here the Mazor needs help. And these guys are just running away. So yeah, over here there is a shop. Over here there is a guide. Here you can get some more items. And chapter 2 is actually pretty cool because you can get items by smacking them with a sword. Also over here, you can totally hit the monkey. Like this. This should be working, but uh, I get it why it doesn't work, it has to be a cutscene. LOL, you draw! Don't try any more funny business, punk! I'll break your kneecaps, that sword's mine, and he's gonna lead me to it. Saya, punk! And here there is... Uh, the major keys to drive the jeep. But first, uh, let me take a look around if there is anything useful I can get. So let's go and get one of the best items in the game. Te al gelsomino. He has 6 HP, restores 6 SP and gives, you, and gives you fine for 2 turns. Fine, it's basically... Uh, it removes any debuff you have, which is pretty cool. So yeah, now that we have uh, a pretty stock up inventory, and the cookie gets better with everything you have, so that's pretty cool, we can now go and save the mayor. Oh, what a beautiful minigame. I sure hope we are not going to run over a mythical creature. I really hope a giant monkey doesn't appear in the middle of the road, that would be really bad. Oh no, the thing that I exactly didn't want to happen just happened. Hope that would be possible. Anyway. Okay, so there are these guys. Let's take care of them. This guy, if you have defense, it's pretty useless because he does 3 attacks, but with, with shield, he does basically nothing, it's pretty fun. 
unless he charge up but if he charge up he's basically as good as dead and then there is this guy which it's pretty easy to dodge at least I learn how to dodge him so for me it's pretty easy I hope I'm gonna level up soon so I can use the night card There we go Okay, over here there is not a monkey, but it's actually pretty easy to dodge. You're just gonna have to stay over here, lead him to the rock, and then you just go behind it. Over there there is a happy HP, which I already have, but having two of them is not bad. Over here there is also a box, and you just go up here, up here, here. And this, and this girl tells you that if you hit a tree, it can drop something. And actually there is a pretty cool secret with coconuts, but I'm not going to spoil it. Here there is National Geographic. And over here there is again the worst enemy. Um, did it? Did it? The mos I just think the mosquitoes fell into the water. Okay, lol. Like, they just disappeared. That was so strange. Anyway. There we go. Okay, shoot down. Yeah, shield makes dealing with mosquitoes a lot easier, which is good because I fucking hate mosquitoes. Okay, pineapple taken care of. In case you don't know, the pineapple makes you immune to the ball. But now that it's no longer here, that shouldn't be a problem. And they are dead. Thanks, God. Okay, and here comes the first boss fight. You had your chance and you wasted it. Please, I'm sorry. It's too late, you've pushed me around my whole life. And now, now that he has given it to me, now, now you cover before me. Hello. You. You're back. Ha. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Lol, you drop. Come get some punk. And he summons a wall. I don't know how he does that. Someone help! That crowbar must, must be really magic. Yeah, I need to level up first to use knight. And how much XP do I need? 53. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have managed to reach level 7, which means I finally was able to equip the knight card. And with this equipped, we shall make this boss fight just a little easier. You know, maybe it's not that bad that I actually deleted the video because I can listen to this song again. Oh yeah. Okay, attack. I missed. Okay, it's alright. Thanks God, 
I have uh, Ke Algen Sumino. Let's go. Beautiful. There we go! Great heavens, I've been totally stomped! Why yes, I can talk you large off! How desperately! Strolling by a lady gaff only to botch my front porch? Been trying to get out for weeks, really just seized off, am I? E? You just walk by to clear up the debris? Well, calm it soft! What a mega sweet one you are! Pardon my cuddle salute! I've been miffed for days, calling with my babies! I'm surprised you know how to use that dynamite proper! You must really know your onions, lad! Well, pardon! How could I be so unladylike? I've got a little something for you! Nice! Ponty CR kicks when the front door got buried. It's the last I could give you for saving my kids. They've been rattling all night, they hate the cold. Feel gutted every time I look at them, but look at them now. All snuggled up, aren't they adorable? Yeah. Well, thank you for the good old chinwag. I'm knocked, it's off to keep son. And please, do this little lady a favor. Find the gormless lad and give him a cool old baloop for us. Ha ha ha. Alright, pal. Have a nice rest for your tray. What a nice lady. And here we find Terry's brother, Jerry. Alcalio! Oh, dude, what were you doing in there? Is that the hedge god then? They keep harassing us. I'm going there and teach those speaker fears a lesson. No, Terry, stop. The hedgehogs are our friends, dude. Hey, are those rocket boost you out there? Yo, dude, those are sick! I love Rocket Boost ever since Bro let me his pair. You trust them, bro? Don't let him touch those, genuinely. Have you used Rocket Boost before? I can teach you. Yeah, I used them before. Okay, no worries. Alright, party's over. Come on, Zerry. Ah, uh, you're right. Bye, stranger. Have a great day. Sigh, so, good luck, dude. We both need it. Okay, and now we finally got the rocket boost, which are actually pretty useful. You can also use them in combat, it's pretty cool. I guess I can use a coconut. It doesn't really re recharge anything. More mosquitoes, of course. But now I have the knight, which means I should be able to deal with them a lot easier. Let's go. You have no idea how satisfying it's that. Oh my god. There we go. Gonna charge my SP. Wait. No. SP. Okay. Alright, let's use the sword. Okay, pretty nice. Over there, there is an item. I tried to go there with the rocket boost, but that's just a red herring. You actually need to use the ball. I don't know if it was intentional or just a case, but whatever. Over here, there is a lemon. Yeah, let me see. The lemon restores 5 HP, but you are 
Attack for two turns. I'm invisible. He can't see me because I'm hiding. So there are some lily pads ahead, so let's do this. Oh, it was so close. And there we go. Okay, more rocket boosting. Over. Oops, <laughs> wrong one. Over there, there is a Tempesta, one of the best items in the game. So let's see if I can. Uh, I guess the coconut. Uh, I was a little confused there for a second. There we go. Okay, and over here there is Griffer. Got you. Put your back into it, you monkey. Now rest until we reach the top of the big tree. Then you. You will pull the sword from the stone for us. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, Brad, this isn't like you. You need to wake up. Don't play dumb with me, dad. I heard that from the voice, that voice swirling in my mind, you are his trusted guardian of the sword, we both know only you and he can pull it, and with him I'll already taken care of, I'll just have to settle for my own father. Back off punk, the voice is me of you. I'll talk and not bite, you really think I'm scared? My two mercenaries and their boss jumped Sledesky and here it's when I realized that this guy is the one that hired Red, Blue and Numador. So yeah, just a little bit of lore. And now, with the Guardian in my possession, the Venom sake will finally be ours. Ha 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 ha! He's alive? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, how long does this go for? Oh Jesus Christ. Liar! Die! And here there is the first, the first fight against Griffer. Of course the song it's always amazing, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Thanks God I have Te al del Somino. Oh, feel fine. Oh, come on. Thanks God I was feeling fine. Okay. Dagger. Thanks God I have more key. Yeah, this is probably the best item in the game. As for demo 2. Of course there is also the apple pie but whatever. Oh, let's go, finally. Okay, two more attacks and he's down. The first time I fight him, he actually wrecked me. He's actually, the first time you fight him, he can catch you off guard. But the second time, not as much. And there we go. Cheater! Whatever, I got a sword to grab. You're so gonna get hit for this. When I find you again, I'm crashing you into the dirt. Later, punk. Nice backflip though. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much uh, where I ended the original video. So yeah, this was everything for this video. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one, unless I'm going to delete it.